Hello and welcome back to Project Luxury. Egypt's annual revenue from the Suez Canal surpasses the projected costs of the Qatar Depression Project, highlighting its potential to not only pay for itself but also generate substantial economic returns. The Qatar Project aims to transform a barren landscape into a thriving hub by leveraging cutting-edge tech to create a stable and long-lasting fresh water source. Keys to this vision are modular floating covers which significantly reduce water evaporation by creating a barrier between the water's surface and the desert air. Made from lightweight, durable materials, these covers float on the water, forming a continuous layer that conserves precious freshwater resources. This project envisioned a 2,000 kilometer shoreline ripe for development. Establishing habitable zones along the coastline could lead to the creation of new communities, complete with infrastructure, housing, and businesses. The land value alone could far exceed the project's initial investments, making it a lucrative venture. Additionally, a large deep lake would act as a natural climate moderator, absorbing heat during the day and releasing it slowly at night, resulting in a more stable and temperate environment. This could reduce extreme temperatures, making the area more hospitable for both people and wildlife. Furthermore, the lake could become a vital source of food, enabling large-scale fish cultivation and providing a nutritious, sustainable food source for the region. Irrigated by fresh water, the surrounding land could support greenhouses and other agricultural projects, enhancing food security. Planting trees and vegetation around the lake would create a green buffer zone, combating desertification and promoting biodiversity. This lush oasis in the desert would be a haven for plants and animals, potentially altering local weather patterns and increasing rainfall, further promoting vegetation growth and reducing irrigation needs. The Katara project is more than an engineering marvel. It represents a vision of a sustainable and prosperous future addressing both environmental and economic challenges. This ambitious project could unlock Egypt's potential, turning a desert into a vibrant, productive landscape. Imagine a hole in the ground vast enough to hold the entire Lake Ontario, located in the middle of the Egyptian desert and lying hundreds of feet below sea level. This is the Qatar Depression, a natural wonder and the center of bold engineering project with rich history. Covering over 19,605 square kilometers, the Qatar Depression is not just enormous, but a geological marvel. Its teardrop shape features steep cliffs on the northern side that plunge dramatically to the floor dotted with salt marshes, dry lake beds, and windswept dunes. It's an extremely harsh environment, with rainfall rarely exceeding 50 millimeters per year. Despite its inhospitable nature, this basin holds the enticing potential to generate a vast amount of clean energy. The plan is to connect the depression to the Mediterranean Sea through a canal or tunnel, allowing seawater to flow in. This could create an artificial lake, and the intense desert sun would cause rapid evaporation. By harnessing this continuous evaporation, turbines could generate electricity on a large scale. However, this vision into reality could be a complex and contentious journey. The first proposals for the Qatar Depression project date back to 1912, with numerous plans emerging over the years, presenting unique challenges and potential solutions. One of the most ambitious proposals came in the 70s from German scientist Frederick Bassler, who envisioned a multi-phase project capable of generating a staggering 6,700 megawatts of electricity. Bassler's detailed plan includes a 60-meter deep canal that would serve as both a shipping lane and a hub for harbor and fishing grounds in the newly formed lake. However, his proposal included controversial elements, using nuclear explosions to excavate the canal. He suggested detonating 213 nuclear devices, each with a yield of 1.5 megatons, 100 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb, to blast a path through the desert. This idea sparked a significant amount of concern over potential radioactive fallout, environment damage, and the need to evacuate over 25,000 people. Consequently, the Egyptian government rejected the nuclear option, leaving the project in limbo. Despite the setback, the Qatar project did not disappear. Scientists and engineers continue to explore alternative methods, such as conventional excavation techniques or diverting water from the Nile River. Today, advancements in water desalination and tunneling offer new opportunities to realize this desert dream. With Egypt's growing population and limited freshwater resources, tapping into the Mediterranean Sea has become a necessity. To get water into the Qatar Depression, tunnels are the solution, and advancements in boring technology have made them more feasible and cost-effective than ever. Tunnels can now be created faster and cheaper, potentially costing less than $6 million per kilometer. For the Qatar project, this means a 55-kilometer tunnel could be built around $300 million. The real innovation comes from combining this tunnel with its cutting-edge desalination techniques. Instead of creating a salty lake, we can transform seawater into fresh water on a massive scale. Imagine a network of tunnels, each 3.6 meters in diameter, pumping a continuous flow of water into the depression. This could deliver an astounding 6 million cubic meters of water per day, or 2 cubic kilometers per year. This water could then be treated in a state-of-the-art desalination plant powered by a combination of hydroelectricity and solar energy. The flow of water through the tunnels would provide about 40 to 50 megawatts of electricity, while an array of solar panels would provide an additional 400 megawatts. This abundant energy would drive the desalination process, producing clean fresh water for drinking, agricultural, and industrial use. To fill just half of the Qatar Depression, we would need a lake covering 12,100 square kilometers with a volume of 113.5 cubic kilometers. This would require around 10 tunnels, each operating continuously for roughly 20 years. Although this seems like a long time, the benefits would start accruing almost immediately as the lake begins to transform and form freshwater production ramps up. The initial investments for this project is estimated at $5 billion. 
While this is a significant amount, it is important to consider the long-term benefits. Egypt's annual revenue from the Suez Canal surpasses the projected costs, highlighting the Qatar's project potential not only to pay for itself, but also to generate substantial economic returns too. Now technologies are emerging to minimize the water evaporation from the lake, ensuring a stable and long-lasting water source. One promising solution involves modular floating covers which create a physical barrier between the water surface and the desert air. These covers, made from lightweight, durable materials, float on the water to form a continuous layer, significantly reducing evaporative losses and conserving precious freshwater resources. Creating a freshwater lake in the Qatar Depression is not just about water and energy. It's about transforming a barren landscape into a thriving hub of activity. Imagine a 2,000-kilometer shoreline ripe for development. By establishing habitable zones along this coastline, new communities with infrastructure, housing, and businesses could be built. The land alone could far exceed the project's initial investments, making it a lucrative venture. The benefits extend beyond economics. A large deep lake as the natural climate moderator, absorbing heat during the day and releasing it slowly at night, creating a more stable and temperate environment. This could reduce extreme temperatures in the surrounding area and make it more hospitable for people and wildlife. This lake could also become a vital source of food, allowing for large-scale fish cultivation, producing a nutritious and sustainable food source for the region. The surrounding land, now irrigated with fresh water, could support greenhouses and other agricultural projects, enhancing food security. The environmental impact would be significant. By planting trees and vegetation around a lake, a green buffer zone could be created to combat desertification and promote biodiversity. Imagine a lush oasis in the heart of the desert, a haven for plants and animals alike. The presence of a large body of water could alter local weather patterns, potentially increasing rainfall in the surrounding areas, which would further promote vegetation growth and reduce the need for irrigation, creating a positive feedback loop of environmental impacts. The Katara project is not just a bold engineering feat, it's a vision for a more sustainable and prosperous future. What do you think about this ambitious project though? Could it be a key to unlocking Egypt's potential? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.